officially we are live. Okay, so we're going to talk about, so we've been doing, we just, we just spent the homework, you know, last night doing percents, practicing those. That was all review from last year. You guys remember that stuff. Um, and it seemed like everybody got it really well. So I don't think I did this last year, though. This is where we actually talk about ways in which we use percents, percents you will use for the rest of your life. They are so common. You use them when you when you go out to eat, right? And you have to leave a tip. You actually have to leave, yes, you leave a tip. You always leave a tip. You always leave a tip. Even if you don't like the person, you leave the tip, right? Because the person has having a really bad day if they're really crappy, if waiters or waitresses, and they need a little support and kindness, right? So you always leave a tip. You never leave no tip, okay, is that clear? Okay, secondly, I mean, they don't, they work for like $2 an hour, right? I mean, that's basically what they work for. And so if they don't get the tips, you know, you really, if, they, if they're already having a pretty awful day, suddenly they're having a worse day, right? And they don't need that. Yeah, every now and then somebody is so kind and they'll leave like a $20 tip or a $50 tip. I know one person once left a $100 tip. You know, just because I wanted to be nice and the person was so awesome and whatever. But you know, it really makes a difference when people serve you well. So anyways, so we're gonna talk about tips because those are very common. In fact, we'll just start with tips. Let's just start with tips right now. So tips, okay. So in order to figure out tips, you have to estimate, right? You basically must estimate. You don't have to figure out exactly to the penny how much you're going to leave for a tip, Can okay? Use the app no, you don't use the app tipulator. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do. Okay. No, we don't. I use the app. No, we don't. Not anymore. Not in math class and not anymore after this math class, okay? Is that understood? Okay. In fact, I want you to delete that app, okay? It's, it's automatic on the phone. Okay, delete it. <laughs> delete the phone if you have to, okay? So tips, so basically, if you go out to eat, all right, you go out to eat, common, common price tag, like for eating, maybe we'll say $30, $38.27, okay? So let's just say we have $38.27. Okay, I don't wanna figure out the tip on $38.27, because I'm doing it in my brain, right? I'm doing it in my head. I'm not gonna be using difficult numbers. So what is that the closest to? $38. All right, what's it even closer? To? I mean, what's, it, what's, what's the first, um, uh, like, like uh, it's, closest to, it's closest to 40, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, for me, I would just round it up to 40 because it's gonna be really easy to do in my head. I could do 38, 38 is fine as well. But I, you know, it's like, it's close enough to 40 that I think I'm gonna just use 40, right? So immediately, I'm going to say that that is approximately $40, $40 in my brain. Okay, now, tip. Does anybody know what the uh, appropriate amount is? 15%. Say it again. 15, 20. 20. All right, basically, basically the, 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 the standard is 15%, okay? It's like 25 cents. No, it isn't. What? No, it's not. No. Fif the standard is 15%. Now, I always leave 20%, you know, at least 20%. Just because, like I said, I know how hard it is. I used to wait tables. It's a lot, it's a big job, it's a hard job. Um, I've done everything, actually. So is my mom. Yeah, so anyways, so um, I leave 20%. Some people leave 15%. Some people don't like the waiter or waitress and they leave 10% or less, right? So I don't recommend that. I recommend always doing 15% at least. So like, and, and after I get done cheating, like, a day? What? So, so wait, just guys, let's, let's, let's listen. So basically, what is 10% of 40? 10%, let's think about it. We're gonna, we're gonna figure out first 10%. That's the easy one. 10% of 40. It's just moving the decimal over one point. So it's $4. $4. So 10% is $4. Okay, does that make sense? 
So 20% would immediately be what? $8. Right? 20% of 40 is $8. Okay, what's, what is 15%? 15% of 40 would be 40, I mean $4 plus half of that, right? Yeah. Would you agree with me? 5% would be half of 10%. So it's, so it'd be 4 plus 2 is 6, right? So that'd be $6. So that's how you that's how you estimate your tax, I mean your tip. So let's let's try another one. Let's say we go out to eat and it was uh, 62.49. All right, so that was the amount of the di the dinner. So what would you round it to? Sixty, right? So that's approximately sixty. In my brain, I'm saying sixty dollars, and so then I know I have to figure out what is ten percent. Um, so it's going to be six dollars. So five percent is what? Three dollars. So in my brain, I can do this in my brain pretty easily, right? Three to six dollars, three dollars. So 15% would be 6 plus 3, which is 9. And 20%, which is what 12. I would use, would be 12, right? And, um, you know, you figure they're, they're working, they can make good money, really, if they, you know, some of them can. But, you know, typically, they don't usually give you more than, like, five tables to wait at any given time. And those people, some people stay for two hours. So, you know, you're basically... You know, you're giving them 12 bucks for two hours of being there, you know, you know, serving them and whatever. It's kind of worth it, you know. It's not an easy job. And some people are irate and mad and they want, oh, but I needed just a wee bit more salt, please. And, oh, can you please, I would love to have this. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to have my, my green chili on top of my enchiladas. Oh my I wanted my green chilies to the left side of my enchiladas, right? Would you please take it back and write... You know, so it's a lot of work sometimes. Some people are really picky on how they, you know, how they, uh, how they order their food. So anyways, so okay, so I'm going to ask you one. So the price is, now you guys got to tell me, I'm not going to figure it out. Now. So the, so we go out to eat and it's $24.82. Um, All right, so what is, what is the tip you're going to leave? Now, uh, different people might do it a little differently, but different, you know, so. $2. 20 Or 10%. 10%, okay, so we could say $2. Or you could say that's closer to 25 right? I might say, I in this case, I since it's so close to 25 I'd probably go to 25 So I would say it's approximately $25. So what's 10% of 225 250 right? That's 10%, 250 so what's 20%? Uh, 250 plus 250 is $5. So I'd leave $5 tip if it were me. Some people might do 250 plus what's half of 250. What? Yeah. Dollar 25. So what's 250 plus a dollar 25? So it'd be 375. 375, right? Exactly. It's not that bad. So this is what I want you to do from now on. This is an assignment. Whenever you go out to eat, how many times a, a, a week do you guys go out to eat? I mean, at least once, right? No. Most people, okay, at least at least at least twice a month, don't you think? Yeah. Right. Maybe. Right. All right. So I want you to tell your folks that you want to figure out the tip. Like, what's the point? Okay. So that you get that practice. All right. That practice is important. But you will use this for the rest of your life. Seriously, you're not going to get out your cap calculator or your little app and figure out exactly what you're leaving them. You're going to, you know, you usually leave them whole dollars. You don't leave them chain. You don't leave them, I'm going to leave her, you know, you know, five dollars and thirty seven cents, right? No, you don't do that when you do tip. You know, it's either three dollars or three fifty or four dollars or five dollars or whatever. It's usually whole numbers or if you have quarters. You know, you don't have to go up. But okay, so tips are pretty easy, right? So you guys have those down, right? Pretty straightforward. Okay. Um, let me quickly look at my thing because I don't know which one I want to do next. Um, I had commissions and I had simple interest. Which do you want to do? In commissions would be like money that you're earning in a job, um, or like if you were get if you're well, yeah. 
And then another, the other interest would be like if you had money in a bank, you want to know kind of how much money you're making, that kind of thing on simple interest. Um, what do you want to do? Commissions. Commissions. Okay. So, so let's talk about jobs for a second. Or jobs. All right. There's two ways to get paid for jobs. Okay. So you're paid in two ways. Okay. One is a salary. All right. I am paid on a salary. And basically what they do, what the school does is every year they negotiate my salary with me and they say, this is what we're going to give you for the entire year. Right? And it's about 10 to $20, something like that for the entire, no, just kidding. Um, um, but that's, that's what it feels like. But it isn't. It isn't. I'm grateful for what they give me. I'm on video. I'm grateful for what they give me. Okay. So salary is basically one set amount that they give you for the entire year. Now, they don't wait to pay you at the end of the whole year. They, they, they break it out into not even monthly, but actually bi-monthly, so ever bi-weekly, I guess is what you say. Like every two weeks, right, we get a paycheck. So they take the total amount and they divide it by 26 pay periods because there's 20, 52 weeks, divide that by two, we've got 26. Um, yeah, that's right. Sorry, 26 pay periods. And, and so that's what they, you know, that's what you get minus all the taxes and the lovely things that the government takes out. Okay, so um, that's salary, okay? So typical, you know, let's just say, you know, somebody makes $40,000 for a salary, okay, for an entire year. That means everything you do comes under that, right? So if suddenly Gary has the coffee house to do, and that comes above and be, goes above and beyond his normal job, I still get $40,000, right? I don't, that's part of my job, you know. Every now and then somebody will, you know, say, oh, we'll add this to your timesheet or something, because that's extra work or something, right? But typically, when you have a salary, whatever you do is part of that. It's sort of like, then they can always, a, a company can ask extra of you and not have to pay you anymore for that extra. Does that make sense? It's sort, of, it's sort of an agreement that they have, right? Now, the other way you get paid is called commissions. Not and hourly, right? No. Uh, well, well, actually, that's true. There are three ways. I should have, I should. Out, there's also, sa there's salary, and then there's hourly. I should say that. You're right. So I'm going to say those are sort of the same because it's based on sort of amount of work you're doing, right, in a way, right? They're expecting... They have, they, if, you, if, if you're working 40 hours they, and you're give, getting paid like $10 an hour, they know they're going to pay you a certain amount at the end of the week, right? They kind of have it figured out. So it's sort of, in their brain, they've figured out sort of like a, like a salary because they kind of know what they're in for, you know, what they're going to pay you. Now, commissions is totally different, totally different because commissions, uh, typically a commission... Uh, Somebody who works on commission would be a salesperson, um, or let me think, a salesperson, or um, yeah, like somebody who works at an art gallery, right? Or somebody who works at. Have you ever been to furniture stores? Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you ever noticed how you walk in and suddenly eight people go, through, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, how are you? Yes, nice to see you. Do you like my smile? This is a little better than his, right? No, but basically. Everybody's wanting to make money, right? I mean, they're, they're, that's their livelihood. They're not being paid hourly. They're being paid a commission of what they sell. Now, what that means is they are getting a percentage of the total value of what they sell. So, for example, so this is basically a percentage, right? So this is what we've been talking about with percents. It's a percentage, percent. That's right. It's a percent. That's what a commission is. So. If I'm if I have a particularly good day, and I sell a thousand dollar painting, right in the art gallery, right, I sell one thousand dollar painting, right. Now the 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 um, let's say let's say the gallery has agreed that they will pay me. Um, Gallery, how do you spell that? Gallery. 
gallery will pay me 20%. What's 20% of 1,000? It would be, um, so it would be, it would be 10. What it would 10%? What would 10% be? Right? We know this. 10% would be just moving the decimal one place. So 10% would be 100, so 20% would be 200, right? So they would pay me $200 for making that $1,000 sale, right? Right? Well, if, you know, I'm just using, I'm just pulling figures out of the air. But, you know, sometimes commission is less, sometimes it's more. You know, like if you sell, if you're... Did you do like a 60, 40, go to gallery? You know, real estate, I also used to sell real estate years ago. And I mean... I, I did a lot of things, but real estate, you know, I'm trying to remember how that worked. It was something like, um, what was it? Oh, I can't even remember anymore. Jeez, Louise. Um, probably changed a lot. It's, it's probably not changed a whole heck of a lot. But, you know, it was something like, you know, you get 5% commission, like if you sell a house, 5% goes to your broker. And then the broker, that's the person who, who hired you, like Century 21 or something. And then the broker will take that 5%, and he'll keep most of it. He'll give you 1% or something like that, or 1.5%. Or sometimes, if you're really, really a good real estate agent, they want to keep you around, so they'll give you more. They might give you 3 of the 5% and then just keep the keep 2% for themselves. Where right? is the other? But, well, that's, well... So if you've got two, if you've got five percent, three might go to the to the agent and two to the broker. But at, my point is that it, it's different depending on the profession. But with houses, it's got to be a small percentage because the houses are so expensive, right? You're talking about a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar house or a five hundred thousand dollar house or a one million dollar house, right? So the commissions they don't want to make them too big, <laughs> then you know. But whatever. But um, but typically, I think it's five percent, five six percent is kind of typical. What is all the other ones that you're charging for like selling the house? So that goes to the owner who sold the house. Actually, some of then the owner has oh, to pay okay. the, the the agent that listed their their home. They pay them a percentage as well. So it's kind of confusing. But okay, so if that's the case, this is the kind of thing you're likely to see. Okay, we're just talking about commissions now. Okay. Like, um, actually, we might do a, 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 a combo thing here. Let's see. Do I have one? Okay, well, let's just say this. Let's say um, um, Henry uh, sells um, a total of... Five hundred and eighty-two thousand dollars, you know, um, this year, right? Uh, that's merchandise of whatever he sold, right? He sold that, okay? He works only on commission, so he makes a commission of. Say um, we'll just say eight uh, percent. Okay, so how much did he make this year? So how much did he make? That's the question. How much did he make? So how would I do that? You just multiply it by point zero eight. Right. So I would just take five eight two, five eight two thousand and multiply it on point zero 0.08, right? When you get your head Sorry, back, I'm using my X again. Times point zero 0.08, right? So then I get my handy dandy calculator, <laughs> which is sitting right here on the on the thing, and I have, what was it again? 582000 times point zero 0.08, thank God for calculators. And I get, oh my God, Henry! Gary, Henry. I, don't, I don't feel comfortable having my finances publicly displayed on the web. All right, I won't put the cents, okay? Okay, thank you. That way it's not exact. Oh, it is exact. It is exact. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Henry. Henry, I was wondering if I could borrow some money. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Gary. It's okay. Um, <laughs> 
That's not so bad. As long as he sells 500, you know, over half a million dollars of stuff, right? That's not so bad. But let's say, let's say Adam, unfortunately, works at the same place, right? And he sells, he sells, you know, $133,000 in the year. Let's see what he got at 8%, right? Actually, he's not as popular a salesperson because obviously nobody likes his smile as much as Henry's, right? And so he comes and, you know, they, they don't really, he's not worth 8% to the company. He only gets 6%, right? Wonderful. So let's see how much he made. So, oh, thank you so much, Adam. Love you, buddy. Okay, so. We got 133,000. What is it? What is it? 7,980. He makes 7,980. Henry, I think Adam might need a loan as well. Just so you know, okay? You know, you're you're rolling in the bucks clearly. All right. So can I erase this for a second? Henry has all the money. Can I erase it? I'll erase just the top. Now sometimes you will see a combo. Can I erase? What can I erase? Mm -hmm. This? Just like all three. Sometimes you're going to see a combo. So, for example, um, you know, so who do we have? We have Eric. Okay. Eric. Oh, Wait, I've got so many. I've done oh, all yeah. guys, right? Yeah, do you so see this? Let's not. Yeah, why do you need to do it? No. What? Sorry, Eric. Wow. Erica. <laughs> Okay, we can, um, we'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll do Maya. Okay, Maya. Say, like, Maya earns a salary. Okay, so write this down. She, a salary of, we'll just say, um, um, $25,000. That means... For the whole year, the work she does, she gets twenty-five thousand plus. Um, okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put a comma here. Plus a commission. Let's see here. Um, of we'll just say um, four point two five percent of sales. Okay, so how, if she sold, what time is it? Oh no, we're okay. If she sold, if she sold, um, I don't know, figure um, $220,000, you know, what was her total income for the year? Was her total income for the year. So how would you do this? How would you do this? Tell me. It's, it's, what do you, okay, what do you know how to do? Basically, the only difference between this problem, the one, the two I gave you before, is I said she also earns a salary, right? That's the only difference, right? It's, 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 she still earns a commission of that percent of that amount of money, right? So we figure that out, and that's the money she earns, but then she also earns the 25 pounds, so we just add them two together, right? That's all. That's the only difference is I put the salary in there too. We just add it, add, have to add it to the commission. So we get out our little calculator. We know that 220,000 times 4 point, well, see, we'll, we'll write that as a decimal, 0 0.0425, right? Gary, no Fs. God, come on. Okay, we'll just do parentheses. All right, so what does that equal? Calculator people. Oh, sorry. Don't hurry, Jillian. You got all day. You got all day. 9,350. 9,350? Okay, I see this. Okay. So
So what do I do now with that? I just have to add that to my 25,000, right? So then suddenly I have 34350. Oh. So that is the amount of money that Maya made this oh. year. Oh boy. We're hoping for better performance next year. <laughs> <laughs> We would like you to be selling at least 350,000 minimum. Wait, how like you otherwise, we're going to lower your percentage. Right? Okay. Wait, he carry. So these are pretty straightforward, right? Pretty straightforward. And I don't have time to do some homework. I know what I did. I know what I did. I watched the show called Broke. All right. So um, real quickly, real quickly, I'm going to pass these out. Guys, listen up. Before before the eighth grade comes in, let me 